What's going on, Terror Squad? We are here once again. We are embarking on a new journey. Yes. I know this was supposed to start a week or two ago, I think. I, I, I don't even remember. But I completely forgot to record this series. But this week I did remember. And I said I have to get out at least a couple of episodes of Westworld. At least one on early access and one for the channel so we're gonna kick off the series today um, you guys have told me that this is a sci-fi series so you already know that I'm in I'm into sci-fi stuff no doubt about it I'm into sci-fi you know I love you know living in a fantasy world um, not in real life but I like when a show can take me on a journey you know what I'm saying and you know we, we we can dig it you know what I'm saying so sci-fi you know what I'm saying time travel that stuff is very fascinating to me so I'm always interested to see what a movie or a TV show can do with that with those concepts because they're really just fantasy you know what I'm saying like time travel is not necessarily real not in the sense that we think about it anyways um, you know, um, some people say that the rotation of the sun is is, is, is kind of like time travel. Um, but that's just the natural state of things that, you know, um, based on where the Earth is, Earth is um, and its rotation, you know, um, one, one um, country could be experiencing extreme daylight. Some, some countries don't even get daylight. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get daylight not as long as we do like we get daylight for for hours and hours and hours right for at least 12 hours out of the day or more 16 maybe um hours out of the day we have daylight so it's some countries don't get that much and you know some people can you know i've heard people try to explain that and even let time travel kind of you know what i'm saying it's a sort of time travel but in the sense of how we actually think about time travel as in we should be able to build a machine where we can go back to 1966 you know what i'm saying and see what it was like and stuff like that that's the concept that's interesting so um let's jump in season one episode one westworld let's get it man if you are new uh, for the channel and you're just coming in to watch Westworld, okay? We have early access available, and also the format that we use over here, I do not post my reactions on YouTube, so if you're just here for that, and you'd rather watch someone who posts their reactions on YouTube, this is not the channel for you. And I really do apologize for that. I know everybody is looking forward to that. Um, what we do over here, the format is, I do an intro, like what I'm doing right now. Then there's a break in the video that will say, you know, reaction, full reaction, link in description. You don't have to pay anything to go watch the reaction. They might, it, it might say play limit sometimes, but you just wait a little bit and you'll be able to watch the reaction, okay? Um... And then I do a review of the episode after that little 10 second break that tells you to go watch the reaction. You can come back and watch the review. I highly request you guys to come back and watch my reviews because I actually do spend time and talk about it. Sometimes, you know, there's nothing much to talk about, but for the most part, I think I do a very good job of doing my reviews on what I saw in the episode, what I'm enjoying about it, what I'm not enjoying about it. And you can always weigh in on this channel. Just be respectful. As I've stated to many people. All you have to do is just be respectful. And all your comments will be validated or whatever. I am not afraid to have a discussion with you in the comment section. Of how I feel about it versus how you feel about it. And you have your opinion. You can dislike the video if you don't like what I have to say too. Nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? As long as we can agree to disagree with no animosity, there is no issue here. If you're being hostile, you will not get a response out of me. I will just leave you to the terror squad, <laughs> right? They will take care of it 
for your boy <laughs> right anyways thank you guys so much let's go watch this So, first, first and foremost, let me say, I am interested to see what's going to take place. Will the host take over? I think there's some funny business going on with their code. I know he kind of threw it to the side to say that, you know, may, you know, they're accessing, you know, old builds, which is not impossible for, you know, a computer to be able to access information that was there before consistently on a new update or, or whatever the situation is it's not that uncommon you know what i'm saying when you look at it from a technical um you know a technological point of view a new age technology and stuff like that that is not impossible at all so but i think um i think there's more to it than that as i was saying it could be a virus it could be something you know it could be that the 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 ai is learning you know what i'm saying which is something that you know people has been trying to perfect ai from like forever you know to be able to have but the thing about it is that i don't believe we will ever as long as we live get to the point where you know you can have a a, a human robot in in your house that thinks for themselves or thinks like we do you know what i'm saying i don't think ai will ever get to that stage but that's just me i'm not saying it's impossible but i think we are a long ways away from having something that was created in a in a lab operate like a human do you know what i'm saying and it's just to to have that those cognitive that 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 is not programmed like think for itself move for itself without being controlled or being able to control you know what i'm saying so i like the aspects i like um the concept that they're going with here um it's not time travel it's and, and fr from the minute they start mentioning the part the park i was like oh crap Th oh okay okay this is what they're doing all right all right all right i'm with it I can see why the first episode also pulled a lot of people in to watch a show like this because it's like now you're gonna be like if it ends up that it's robots you know our host versus human like which side are you going to take because they were created they're probably gonna end up I don't know who Ed Aris's character is but he's like the X Factor the outlier so far that i see in the series um in this one episode um he's the outlier that i just can't put a finger on like what is what does his existence mean is he a robot you know what i'm saying is he a host or is he human that is going in there to find out you know i want to know what his character is i don't know you know so i definitely complete i was completely confused like the first 20 minutes of the show i didn't know what was going on um then it was revealed that they're all living in the simulation that people can pay to be an, be a part of as you know a, as regular humans if you're rich you can pay to have that experience in this world where you can basically practically do anything with probably no consequences you can kill people um you know what i'm saying you well not people you can kill these hoes you can do whatever you want with them but you have to stay on course unless you probably pay more money for deeper levels or whatever the situation is so it's kind of like a game to them to you know humans um and the thing about it is that when you have money you want to experience anything that can be experienced in life that's just what money brings you know what i'm saying um you know so I'm not going I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like if I had the money and something like this exists that I wouldn't try to be a part of it. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I would want to try it. I would want to go cuz I'm adventurous like that. So I would want to see it. You know what I'm saying? It's just the, the 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 eerie feeling behind it. You know what I'm saying where it's like 
man, what, it was, suppose one of these hoes, you know what I'm saying, just, just goes off and just starts shooting people, you know what I'm saying, they don't, they, um, how do they differentiate between host and human, you know what I'm saying, like, how do they differentiate from that, there's gotta be some sort of safe word that they give humans to go in there to shut these these um robots down or whatever the situation is i mean I, I mean they have people constantly monitoring what's going on so i'm guessing that you know somebody is is always watching them so that if anything goes wrong they can shut them down with no hesitation so um they said they haven't had an incident in 30 years so there's that also that you got to consider so i'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of the series for sure for sure it's definitely um interesting um to to keep my interest in the show going it's definitely at that point where i can say i can see myself watching the show every week at least so appreciate you guys for tuning in i'm gonna try to do another episode today of course um thank you guys so much i appreciate you um but i gotta go <laughs> anyways leave a like on the video if you enjoyed the reaction if you joined my insight and of course leave a comment it's your boy terabyte reacts please consider subscribing to the channel if it's only just for westworld subscribe to the channel man it's not that hard it's one little button hit that notification bell i'll catch you later peace